and welcome back everyone for episode 23 where well shit is going sideways right now because well first of all the unbidden are going on quite a rampage and meanwhile uh, the storm rider storm Riderian regulators storm Riderian regulators well anyways they said they were gonna lead the initiative for uh, galactic uh, peace and everything which i think means that they are about to reconquer uh, basically all the star bases, uh, they're gonna make every empire declare peace. Problem is, I want to get my empire, my systems back from the Belmacosan before that. Okay, the fifth fleet did take it, that's really nice. So, I'm gonna go for those two. And then I'm just gonna simply jump for this one. Just trying to stop the flow of ships going through the empire, going to my end of it. So yeah, you know, um, just a chill afternoon. Also my goal was to place a beacon, a crisis beacon on one of those two empires over here. Problem is right now I'm lacking the influence, but I'm soon gonna get there, so that's gonna be very nice. Okay, 26k, should they regroup with them first? Would be useful, but where are they going? If they are not moving, oh oh, although... They're coming to me. Okay, so regrouping is the right course of action. I'm just gonna wait here. Also, I have to watch out. Should I maybe send a 30k through? Why did you come through the wormhole? What the fuck is wrong with you? I told you to attack this system, didn't I? I swear to god, the fifth fleet is just brain dead. Come on. Complete. Yeah, I think the fifth fleet is a uh, what do you call it? A joke. Planetary invasion. Anyways, uh, why didn't the sixth? You have to take the star base before you come through and before you go here. Okay, now that all the fleets are assembled, the second. I'm gonna order you to come here, try to glo close the gap already, yep, excellent. Because they're gonna come through here anyways, and there we go. Bye-bye dimensional fleet. Already a few ships Planetary going away. Invasion. They have 35, Hostile 34 they had at the beginning. Oh, we repelled an invasion. That's nice. Okay, Junius 1 and NF112, excellent. Excellent news. I th no, no, that's from the other system. Okay, huge... Space battle going on again, but so far, yeah. Curious to see what the damage and everything is going to be like. Oh, now the Belmacosan Empire wants peace. Yes, yeah, suddenly. No, I'm going to trash their fleet first because they've been way too big of a problem. Really annoying. Ah, so I'm having a few troubles with shields because I'm not focusing on Alert. shields. Because I'm focusing on Hostile destroying the holes. So engaged. now it should be quick. Yep, there we have it. So, oh boy. They just lost those ships. Ah, that's, that's really annoying. That's why we need the better um, stations. Uh, better hyperdrive, sorry. Um, but at least this was an annoying fleet. Well, it's giving us one hell of a pre-taste what's gonna be like with the... Uh, okay, you immediately going for repairs. I think frigates are not the way to go, actually, looking at, like, the frigates lost. I'm gonna use this as a lection, as a lesson. Uh, where your frigates go down to naught and give me a few cruisers instead. Uh, which one was this one? That was the good one. This one was... Eh, it was more like a melee thing. Torpedoes would be nice though. I'm gonna tr use those with this one. Okay, and you're also gonna go down on 20. And you're gonna go on... Mm, give me 15 and... Yeah, I mean those two are still there, so okay. Uh, 35... Okay, 30, 36 is allowed. Um, what's with you? 
you're gonna go down to 20. And you're gonna get 5, yeah. I prefer this very much. Okay, so I'm gonna need one small fleet. Uh, the first, actually, because it wasn't quite right lately. So you're gonna come here, and then retake this one, and then just go repair. Okay, excellent. And now we're just gonna wait here, actually, like... Third fleet, phew. Seriously beaten. Alert. Spaceport deconstructed. And which one was the other one? The fourth. Yeah, the fourth is also gonna go. Well, everyone is just gonna repair. Boy, but the fact that I didn't destroy this dimensional fleet means it's gonna come back, which is even more annoying. Oh, this should be easy. Alert. Station engaged. Uh, is there actually some place? I mean, this system. Did you really jump in with 25k against... Oh my god, I hate those guys. Like, literally every time they are in a position where they shouldn't be. Um... Okay... Again, selling some of those resources. I need them, but I need the money more. Oh my god, I swear, why do they always jump in at the wrong exist. place? Okay, shield capacitors, nice. Okay, and we're just gonna crush more of those fleets. Okay, we lost 11 corvettes. Yep, yeah, seems about right for the 5th fleet. Okay, you know, you know what, you're just gonna go... Yeah, you are the starbase and you go, just go back to the starbase, take a nice long nap and try uh, not to think too hard about what happened here today. Okay, oh yeah, I definitely want to get NF1 and 2 back. 7%, 26k. When will they arrive? They should get there fairly soon, actually. Uh, so I'm gonna order a 6 complete. to just immediately target those guys. And who knows, if they are repaired, I actually can send them in as well. Okay, you go for upgrades. Oh, second is already prepared. Okay, the third now too. And the fourth is ready. As well, well in one moment. Thirty-two K yeah. Taking rather long. There we go. Mm. And as soon as they are starting to jump, I'm gonna tell the other fleet to also start to jump. Okay, they're idle now. Just so that they arrive at the same time, it's gonna make the victory so much easier. And now? And you also come here and we're gonna have some very nice... What are you actually? Oh yeah, Faleron Kadri. Oh yeah, it's true, we're fighting on your territory, right? Might be a bit of an issue, but... Oh yeah. Hostile fleet assets First, oh, there they are. Wonderfully. Like, literally half our fleets are already in the fight. And they are having to split up. Wonderful job. Just gonna... Yeah, really confusing if you look at it that way. But yeah, nice victory for us. Uh, you know what? The 7th fleet is actually gonna go bombardment here. Boy, why do they always mess up my planets? And you know what? All of you immediately come through here. It's about sending a message, actually, you know? Okay, I think we took back all of our systems. Yeah, the debris can't really do much for us, so... Yeah, I wanted to see what the anchors are. That's why I sent a science ship over here. Is it already arriving? Where is it? Activate cloaking, please. And then just come here. 
2.8 million. <laughs> well, I mean, if the star base is only 2 million, then what can we risk? What's the problem here? Oh boy. Okay, actually, those guys had it way too peacefully the whole this whole time. I mean, they are still superior economy, uh, technological wise. They are 1,300. Uh, crisis beacon. I'm sure we have someone which uh, would have. Oh yeah, this guy. No. Okay, so it needs to be a scientist, it seems. Wait. From asset. Well, nice of nice for you. If I take this one. No. Okay, so it has to be a scientist. So if I take this one. Okay, I think it's just gonna be like. Yeah. Mm, I'm gonna take this one then and I need six more influence so next month renew lock oh it's an event that's really nice of the game to let me just renew it like this uh, follow the living world yeah sure what's happening over here oh I can't see it Executing evasion protocol. too bad because it seems they're getting slaughtered oh yes they are slaughtered Uh, oh, they can see us, it seems. Executing Why can't protocols. they? Yeah, you just have to go here, hope for the best. High war exhaustion. Yeah, I know. Um. Yeah, to be honest, I think at this point I can just peace because they've lost 260 ships, I've lost 81, still a 3 to 1 ratio. So, yeah. All of you come back here. Uh, actually, the first one I'm gonna send to the capital, the second one as well. Uh, the third, fourth, and fifth too. And the Six and sevens are gonna go to the Namoidi system because it's our third biggest, uh, how do you call it? Starbase at Citadel. Also, I just reminded myself, I did start the time. Okay, good. Yes, um, Transit Hub. Yeah, I'm actually gonna go with Transit Hub, might as well go with something rather peaceful. Uh, what's with this over here? Yeah, sell to private investors. Is everyone getting invited nowadays? I mean, at this point, like, even the Orasian is gonna, are gonna join them. You're getting vassalized again? Stop being an eternal vassal, for, God's, for gosh sake. Also, the problem now is that... Yes, thank you. We finally have peace! After... A century of war, we finally have peace. At last. Ah, <sighs> and... Yeah, thank you. I think that, uh, yeah, peace was about as short-lived as it possibly could have been. But, uh, yeah. You're gonna assign this one to your station. This one and the seventh. Always the wrong button. Oh yeah, also at the high gas shipyards, true. And there you go. <laughs> oh my god, at this point it became a joke. I mean... Due to bad luck, but uh, yeah, still. Okay, where is this one? I, it wasn't an. It wasn't a, a deconstruct. I don't need it over there. Too bad. I really wanted to open the L gate, to be honest. But uh, yeah. Ship augmentation. With the unbidden. Being in front of a doorstep, I'm not so keen about it, actually. Actually, should I maybe send them here? They're fighting a war with some other empire, and they are... 4,700. Oh no, they have no fleet here. I'm gonna send them here. 
and you do this and launch. Please become a wonderful crisis beacon. Also, this empire got fairly big over here, didn't it? Alert. Science unit engaged. Oh, that's not good. Oh. <laughs> Just try to ignore them, guys. Okay? Just go through. Uh oh. Ignore them. Jump, 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 jump. Seventh Fleet. Come on. Jump, 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 jump. Quicker, please. At least they're slow. That's like the one redeeming fact they have. Phew. Please don't follow us further. Oh, they might follow us further. Ah, this is great. I mean, yeah, at least uh, we're getting out of here quicker than the others are staying in there. What's on the Senate floor? Oh yeah, I think we should have integrated gardens. Uh, especially in those trying times. I mean, yeah, priorities, am I right? Well, well, well. Okay, so I'm losing a ton of money right now. Why is that? Okay, I can buy 60 less. Actually, also, I think for the first time in a very long time, we actually uh, lost pops. Uh, very annoyingly, I must say. But uh, yeah, I think we did so. Ah, this one. Oh no, we don't have the influence. Understandable. Let's see, Hyper Relay, put it over here. Oh, Thank you, Belmacos and Citizen Republic. I don't hate you at all. Mm, gestation World. Oh. Well, I mean, pop growth is not really useful anymore. I mean, if you look, for example, on a capital, uh, what kind of pop growth do we have? Yeah, we're halfway done already, but we have 173 months. This is 11 months, but like... Yeah, I don't think it's gonna cut it anymore. So, yeah. Also, let me just check because... Hagas has one... They have two. Ah, oh, you can be resettled. Come to the capital, they said. It's gonna be nice, they said. Uh, yeah, you come here. Yeah, they aren't really... What are they producing? I mean, they have been slightly devastated due to the war. I'm just gonna resettle them. Mm. The one right. The mining world. You come here. Okay, then we have another mining wall. Oh, with even such a great habitability. Can't say no to that. Great. You can be upgraded. Nice. They would even actually, they could even take more people, so. And we also have so many planets who are just empty because, well, I mean, we don't. Actually, didn't districts contribute to. Empire Sprawl. Uh, yeah, districts. So in theory, it would be useful to abandon like all of those planets, actually. Uh, which I do agree with, in theory. Or at least to demolish all those buildings and districts. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be a tedious job, though. Nah, well... Probably time to do this another time, not during an, not during a recording. Yeah. Um, this fleet. Okay, so they are hot on their tails. Oh, they're such a huge pain. I mean, yeah. Boy. At least they don't stop to like bombard the planets and everything, which. Technological and they literally just successful. rebuild it behind them because they cannot hold them. Uh, the problem is more like if they get here with a construction ship and they put like a 2.5 million construction uh, uh, starbase in the midst, but uh, yeah, you know. I could get through a distillation, could also get uh, 
the Stormcaster, but it's 100 months, so yeah. But it actually, I'm gonna take it because if I can nullify shields against my good friend the Unbidden, it's actually gonna be pretty neat. Yeah. Okay. Energy grid, what did we have here? Yeah, I can't put anything else in place to boost energy production. I'm just gonna uh, check here, amount of pops. Noxio, this is the most populated world actually. Well, look at that. Uh, I'm gonna put you here, Agri World 72, Capital. Actually, it's pretty saturated if you look at it. Agri World. Mm. We have 16 maintenance drones, so I think we can upgrade like three buildings. Generate a world, how much we produce? Oops. Yeah, please implement the algorithm too. Some nice production over here. Can't even clear the blocker. And generator 2. I'm gonna do this one too. And over here. Yeah. Mm. Could build like a research lab. Or a faculty of Archeo studies. A more civilized form of research. Crazy actually, this is all like top 10 most populated world but with the 50 pops. Actually, all of those should be one. Oh, wrong direction. Ah, two, we need to be going up, not down. Such a nice planet. So empty, sadly. What's with you? Okay, that's good. Actually, I'm gonna... Yeah, no pups here. Okay, demolishing a few here. What's with you? Actually, that's a nice energy planet, but... Uh... Okay... I think I'm gonna try to leave like at least one on, on them. I mean, usually I would be very happy to have all of those planets and literally build most of the stuff on them. But I mean, if I cannot have a decent pop growth, what's the point? I mean, like, for real. Like, if, for example, on this plant, I have to wait 428 months for one pop to grow. What's the point? And even longer for a robot. Like, I mean... What's... Uh, why bother? Can't play large anymore. Oh, the old Wem capital used to be populated by hundreds of souls, hundreds of millions of souls. Well, not anymore. So yeah. Okay, I'm gonna leave this one there. Still only having one pop. That's why when I play like a normal empire, I like to play with the migration treaties and everything. Because as soon as like a fallen empire or whatever other empire starts aggroing the neighbors, you can just like very easily uh, get all of the pops out of it. Like, literally. Okay, this is one exception. And you get resettled. Mining world, there you go. Two pops, you also get... Uh, let's go here. I mean, Annex uh, seems to be have some place. Okay, now we have five pops on this one. This is actually a food producing planet. I mean, used to, or should be. 
I'm mm, gonna upgrade this one. Demolish this one. Well, I mean, some plants just gonna have to stay small, sadly. 11 pops, 13 pops. Yeah. Very small planets now. Okay, and I'm gonna reorder them from distance and close this one. There we go. Okay, so all the fleets. Now we'll have to go through upgrades. Okay, they seem to be staying around there, which is nice for us. A result has failed. Integrated gardens. Oh no. Anyways. Okay, what do we have here? The third, the fourth, and then just the fifth is gonna be missing. Oh no, it's already there. My bad. Oh, the fifth fleet. What am I gonna do with them? Yeah, and the sixth and seventh are going there currently, so yeah. Um. Find a way to remove them. Now we're gonna investigate the fungus. Ship augmentation is completed. Yeah, not gonna take chances here. Uh, what's with the Starbase Anchorage? Ship Shipyard, I don't completed. need you there. Uh, Anchorage, but yeah. Shipyard, ah, I'm gonna keep this shipyard. This Anchorage. Ship is completed. Okay, pretty nice. Well, I mean, I'm gonna start with the first one. Just to be clear here. If the Fallen Empire declares wars on us, we're gonna surrender immediately. Because, completed. yeah, if you have 79... 79k, that was weird. Uh, fleet uh, strength, I'm just not gonna even try to mess with you. Uh, yeah, because we have still 600 technologies, we're still way back. Tech-wise. Flak artillery and fusion missile and improved strike, strike aircraft, that's nice. Oh, that's from those debris down south, that's actually really good for us. Where are you? You're over here. Uh, you're gonna come here and make a hyper relay. Just so that like if for example there's an enemy incursion over here and like breaks this connecting line we will have like alternative routes which I think are very important. Okay you are here and you can both start upgrading please. Now shipyard still being built. Well ships are being upgraded before the shipyard is being done. Ship augmentation. At least now they, now they can have more. Excellent. Scientist. Uh, anomaly discovery speed. No, you're gonna go get this straight. Well, fleets actually. Yeah. Uh, the military fleet is gonna go back to the Sulan system. And I think uh, it's time for the first and second fleet to go deal with the shard. Because if we can reanimate it, at least we're gonna get some nice bonuses mm, in regards to um, Technological an extra fleet, success. which is basically free, which I like very much. Fusion missiles, thank, thank you very much. Okay, Hyperdrive 3 is gonna be good. Completed. And then we're gonna get the battleship. Once we get the battleship, I think we're gonna go with uh, improved strike craft. Uh, and then have like a carrier variant which should be very useful. Okay, six fleet priority here. Oh yeah, true. Also, we don't have hyper relays all over here, so it's very old schooly to go around. At least we can Ship jump in immediately dissected. next to them. Antimatter missiles, excellent, just give me the next one. Uh, third one and fourth fleet. Also, please get upgraded. I mean, okay, just for the frigates, but still. Ship augmentations completed. Yeah, Hostile that was quick. Fleet assets engaged. Ship augmentations okay. completed. Let's see how long this takes or how this goes, but it doesn't look too bad. Ah, well. Poor Shard. If only you didn't spawn over our colony. Really cool. Good planet. Yeah, if only, if only. So, yeah, Dragon Breath and Wing Skua are doing a ton of damage. But that's why I went in with like more covered heavily fleets. Uh, because then they just can tank all the damage and disappear and not get destroyed. 
I know that that's at least the goal, so yeah. The first fleet is really taking a beating once more. I mean, boy, the first fleet, I wouldn't want to be in there. They really, so many times they just, oh my god. I legit think about retreating the first fleet just in case, but uh, I think it's not necessary because we're gonna win in 10 seconds, so. But still, poor first fleet. Ah, Relict found the Rubricator. Start situation, Leviathan, Parrot, Opportunity. Thank you, Kay. Uh, oh my god, we almost lost. Wait. Uh, oof. Basically all the destroyers got shredded. That's crazy. Where's the construction ship over here? Uh, what are you doing? Automatic construction, please. Build Starbase. Oh, we're lacking influence. Okay, seems fair. Uh, you're gonna come here. Okay, let's just check out our new relic. The Rubricator. Archaeotech, weapon damage, society research plus 20. And we can get 500 uh, minor artifacts when we activate it, which is nice. And we're gonna get another Elgate inside and sell some Ship of those just to dissected. get even more of everything. Starbase upgraded, nice. Actually, is it this system which... Yeah, it was this one where we build like the black uh, stations, but yeah. Okay, you're gonna come back here, it's gonna be one nice system, we get more. Yeah, you immediately get reinforced. Oh, a new astral action. Natural artificing. Well, let's do this and let's get the second artifact rolling. At least that way we can activate it. And right now we don't need the speed. Yeah, you are waiting here yeah, for the influence. Alright. Oh, also, this archaeological site. Where is the dude I just gave you? Yeah. You are gonna get a new directive. Excavate archaeological sites, please. Oh, there's even one there you can do. The cabin. Well, please go. And decipher the fungal transmission, yes. yes. I think we're gonna need also one more construction ship. Uh, which we're gonna build over here. Uh, science ship, sorry I meant. Okay. Oh, and we got some nice cruisers, that's sweet. Okay, I'm gonna start 70k both of them, that's really nice. What are you? You're a fallen empire fleet, yeah. You're from those guys. Why are your... Sathorian Empire, why are your fleets called Devouring Swarm? And why are you going... Why can you go within? Why... Are you at war with the Sathorian... Empire? Printing press. Well, that's really... Oh, actually, this reminds me. Thank you for discovering that. You just doomed your entire civilization. Um, fleet, 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 fleet. Landing armies. Well, you know, it's a day's worth. Why are you fighting in the capital? Are you winning? Wait, that doesn't seem right. Their fleets must be somewhere here. I'm not seeing them. I don't know. That's weird. Because they still have like... Se wait, they have 75k. And those guys over here have like 92k. Aha. Uh -huh. Don't you have a fleet? I mean, let's be honest. I'd be happy to trash the Divine Sastorian Empire. But I'm currently... Leading the unbidden to them, so you know. 
But yeah, it seems like why do, does this fleet have like zero fleet strength? That's and why do you have a dimensional fleet? Why does everyone have a dimensional fleet here? Um. Oh crap. Cover our tracks. Hmm. Very weird indeed. There's a 36k, but I mean, shouldn't they have like technological more? acquisition successful? This seems very weird to be honest. Okay, all fleets cannot be upgraded again. Mm, 67, 9 months. I'm gonna take this one. Successful cover up, nice. Oh, everyone on our council is over 100 years old. Well, I mean, apparently. But nice. Construction Very nice. complete. Ah, and one gap closed. Finally. Oh. The Orasian Horde is about to get to the L gate. Okay, uh, let us see the site of the shard. Scrub it off, we have deadlines to reach. <laughs> What's approach? Study on Noxus focusing on the eye of the shard would secure it. Courageous courage, reorganize. Um, well, I mean, it would just give it on Noxiot plus 10 sense range, but the plant is like here, and there isn't really much in, in the way. I mean, there's wormhole and everything, but like not that much, which I think wouldn't do that much. Um, be very careful with it. Let's do it like this, yeah. Uh, we have four out of seven insights with one L gate over here and another one over here. So if they open it, we have fleets nearby who could react uh, quickly. So that shouldn't be a problem at all. Planetary pacification protocols initiated. Yes, we can integrate them, so that's nice. Subjugating pre-FTLs, well, I mean, that's just what we do. How many are you? Only nine? No, okay. Let me just check the planet. Um, where was... Yeah. Annex... Yeah. Annex 1 is gonna get some new people. Oh, and they even have positive habita habitability. Isn't that great? Okay, you can go back here now. Okay, and try time to deal with the scavenger bot. I feel like those fleets are in the best situation to deal with it. Second, on second thought, I'm uh, gonna get them upgraded first. Oh, are those fleets about to be full? Yes, they're about to be. That's very nice. Ship augmentations complete. Are they really winning? Uh, that's it. I'm gonna declare war on the Sathorian Empire just for this uh, part of space. That they still don't want to focus on bidding. That's crazy to me. Uh, yeah, still crisis speaking, please. Mm, efficient builder. And this one can be colonized again. Uh, yeah, let's... I mean, I just want the special districts, to be honest, so, yeah. Oh, it's a construction ship. Okay. Ship augmentations completed. Mm. Yeah, the seventh is gonna get the upgrades again. Uh, I mean the the new ships. 
So that's gonna be nice. We are reaching the limit on our astral threats. Uh, let's get the extra physics research and, well, let's, uh, might as well get a new, uh, astral rush. Augmentation is completed. Uh, we can't do this one now, so you have to wait. Ship this science ship, completed. you're gonna get a neat new scientist. And you're gonna research special projects and only that. And don't forget to cloak. Ship augmentation is completed. Boy. Well, at least our fleets are starting to look more and more like real battle fleets, modern battle fleets it is. But, uh, yeah. Okay, you're gonna get some reinforcement. How many corvettes? Only four? Eh, not that great. But, you're all gonna get here, go on the edge. And where's this one actually? He's still Ship circling around, so completed. yeah. Okay, also right now... Uh, the 7th is gonna come here since they are moving, and the 6th fleet, I need a big fleet in case the L gate opens and uh, something bad comes through. Uh, you are gonna come here. You are still waiting there for me to build the hyper relay. Science ships. And you're also researching special successful. projects. We thank you for the gift. Indeed, we do thank you for the gift, kind sir. Because the allies are gonna be promptly wasted. Very promptly, in fact. Battleships, there we go, now we're talking. Okay, uh, yeah, we're gonna need the Swarmer missiles because they're very effective against uh, the Unbidden. And we can finally get our first uh, real battleship. Mm. Yeah, the problem with those is the range, like 0 to 40, that's... Uh Forty-five to eighty. Yeah, you're gonna need to be like always at a distance. Definitely gonna be artillery. Actually, those have zero to. Mm, yeah, but they have the nice bonus. So yeah. Okay, standard design for us. I'm gonna give them after bonus. Well, it doesn't change the damage, just chance to hit, so yeah. Okay, and now I'm gonna make another variant, which is gonna be more carrier lenient. Uh, basic strike craft. Sorry about that. Uh, we're gonna need some black and point defense. You're gonna just be carrier, stay away. I'm gonna put the, the missiles in there, in the medium slot. Uh, and in the small one I'm gonna put those, so I'm gonna leave the other ones clean and empty for now. And this one is also gonna get afterburners. And we're gonna call it the... Brinth, apparently. Mm, this reminds me, didn't he have like a bonus for... Yeah. Carrier focus, well, not really, but you know. Okay. What kind of fleets are here? That's like 40, 50, 60k of them. And that's like. So they have 160k and then 40k, I'd say, so. I think with three fleets, I should be good to go. So, that's good to know. Okay, commander level up. Uh, aren't you the commander of the seventh fleet? Yes, you are. Ship augmentation is complete. Uh, you're gonna get the repair. Way more important. And you are gonna go for the hyper relay. At least that way our empire will be broadly connected. 
and it's gonna be very good for now. Uh, diplomatic weight from... yeah. We don't need that. Technological acquisition success. Okay, what do we have here? Okay, they're coming around. Colony. Particle lands, yes, please. Plus the whole damage. I mean, I just saw it, I knew I had to take it. This was like literally instant decision. And it's even gonna take like less than the others, so yeah. Oh, actually, this reminds me. We didn't make a battleship design. Oh, we don't have them yet, okay. And ladies and gentlemen, with the dawn of this of the scavenger bot being near, and for some reason the Fallen Empire getting overwhelmed by the Sathorians, uh, we are coming to an end for today's episode. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode, and I wish to see you for the next one. Bye.